Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and today we're going to go through a little bit of a crash course about classes, uh, CSS classes in particular. And the reason this is important for a visual site builder like Oxygen is that we make CSS classes really easy to use and access in the UI. So it's important to understand what a class is, how it works, why you should use one, and a little bit about the way CSS calculates specificity, which is how it decides which uh, rules or property declarations win out if there are multiple ones competing. So here I'm in Oxygen. I have a code block up just because I want to kind of illustrate the basic idea of using a class in a CSS rule. So the anatomy of CSS is that you have a rule, which is all these things, and the rule is made up of a selector and then property and value declarations. So this obviously is not a real property or value. This is just to illustrate. But what this might look like if we were writing the CSS is we would use a selector, which doesn't have to be a class. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to stick with classes. Uh, the selector in this case would be the element we want to style. Uh, and you can target it with a class as long as it has a class. So if we look down here in our HTML, this div has a class of container, right? So to denote a class, you start with a period and then type container. And then we're going to open and close curly braces. And then we're going to declare a property. So let's do background color colon black semicolon to close that out. And if we apply this, we'll see on the right hand side that our CSS has been applied. So this is the basic structure. If you were writing CSS from scratch, this is what it would look like. Now, the nice thing is that Oxygen does all this stuff for you. You don't actually have to write the CSS. It's being generated. But if you understand how CSS is structured, it makes a lot more sense working with Oxygen's classes. Now that we understand how a rule is composed, let's talk about the selector, because this is the one we care about today. A selector can be anything. It can be an ID, which means this would have a pound symbol or hashtag before it instead of a period. It could be a tag. So for instance, we could target all divs just by typing div. But if you want to target multiple elements and give them all the same styles, you should use a class, which means you use period and then the class name. So an example of this would be uh, if we look in our HTML here, we have uh, multiple elements with the same class, which is card. So this is a perfect example of when you should use a class. So we would do card and then background color black. That would apply whatever we declare in this rule to all elements that have the card class. So anytime you have the same styles for multiple elements, you want to use a class. And the same is true when you're using Oxygen instead of writing the CSS. And just to illustrate this really quickly, instead of making the background color black, let's add some padding, 32 pixels, border radius, eight pixels, border one pix black, solid. And then you'll kind of see what that does. It creates these cards, right? But that's enough about writing CSS. You don't have to do that in Oxygen. It's just important to understand what's going on under the hood. So let's get rid of this code block. Or in fact, we'll just hide it just in case we need it later. And then let's build something in Oxygen that we want to style with classes. So we'll just add a section and we'll do kind of the same thing we had in our HTML, but we'll just build it with Oxygen. So I've added a section, a div, I'll add an heading element with the tag h2 and then a text element so this will be our card now we know we're going to have more than one of this element and we know we want them all to look the same so how do you use a class in oxygen when you're not writing the css well you go up here to the top of the properties pane to this little drop down and usually it will either show choose selector to edit or it will have the id selected you just click it and then to add a class, you type the class name. So we're going to call this new dash card. Now note when you're adding a class in Oxygen, you do not need the period at the beginning. Oxygen will add that for you. So we'll add that class. Now, this is just like typing dot or period new dash card and then open and close curly braces in CSS. Now we need to define the properties, just like we saw within that CSS block. But the way we do that is we just set values in Oxygen. So this is actually right in the CSS for us 
when we do these things. So we're going to go ahead and set the background to like a uh, pale blue, maybe a little bit lighter. There we go, just a lightly saturated gray. And then we're going to go to advanced size and spacing, set the padding to 32 pixels, apply that all the way around. And then let's set the width to 33%. Now let's duplicate this a couple of times. And then we'll set our section to a horizontal layout so those cards set next to each other. And now we have three elements that all have the class new-card. And we've established some styles for that class. But here's where the beauty of classes really comes in and this is why we made classes kind of front and center in Oxygen. Later, you might need to change something on these cards. For example, you wanna change the background color when you change the background color in Oxygen with the class selected up here at the top, we're changing that for every element that uses that class, which is really beautiful and efficient. So we'll set it back to something that we like here. And then we can do the same thing for the elements within our card. So we can call this new-card. And here's a good time to start talking about naming your classes. CSS class names can get really messy really quickly if you're not following some kind of convention. So I usually recommend BEM naming convention and you can Google that to learn more about it. But basically what it boils down to is if we're styling an element within a container with the class of new dash card, then this element that's a child of the new dash card element would have a class of new dash card underscore underscore title or whatever you want to call it and then you would add that class and then if you had a different style of title you would do new dash card underscore underscore title and then two dashes to denote that it's a modified version of title and then after the two dashes you just put the name of the modification like big or little light or dark, whatever. So that's just a really basic overview of that naming convention. That's the one I usually follow just because it makes sense and it's very easy to read later on if you're looking through the CSS and trying to figure out what's going on. So now that we've added our new card title class, we can change the text color or something. We'll set it to like a, a bluish color instead of pure black. And then let's change the font size a little bit. Let's bring it down. Okay, so now we have this class uh, that should be applied to all the titles within all of our cards, but it's not because we duplicated the card before we added the class. So that's a good thing to remember is that you should really add all your classes to any sub elements before duplicating the parent element, but it's not hard to recover from this. So in Oxygen, if you click an element and click add class and start typing a class name, you're gonna get a suggestion of classes that match what you've typed. So in this case, we know we need new dash card underscore title which is super handy. We can even start by typing a uh, title and we'll see the class we need. So it's really easy to go ahead and just add existing classes to existing elements as well. Now let's go to this title and let's go ahead and add some margin below it of like 16 pixels or so. And you can see that it now, uh, the styling changes affect every element with that class since we added that class across those. Now, assuming you have a bunch of classes in your Oxygen installation and you want to manage them, you can do that under Manage, Selectors, and usually they're going to be in the Uncategorized folder unless you've added new folders. And here you can find all the classes you've added and you can actually click them and it will show you the elements in the Builder Preview that use that class and you can manipulate the styles over here in the Properties pane. But generally, you're going to be selecting the element directly and not working with the selectors panel to edit classes. And so that pretty much covers how to work with classes, why you would use classes, and a basic idea of how to name your classes in Oxygen. The final thing I want to talk about is specificity. And this is something that catches people up if they're not used to CSS and they're using a visual builder that kind of works how CSS does for the first time. You can run into a situation like this, where you've selected an element that has no class, you've changed a style on that element, and then you've added a class. So new-card description with the double underline to note that this is a child of new-card. And then you're like, I have a class, great. Now I wanna style this. And you go to change the text color. Now why isn't this working? This is because of the way CSS works. In CSS, IDs, which are these blue selectors up here in the selector dropdown, are more specific 
than classes. And in CSS, when something's more specific, it wins against less specific selectors or rules. So in this case, it's still using the text color from our ID instead of our class. So anytime you change a property with a class selected and it doesn't work, then the best next step is to select the ID and look at that property. And usually you'll find that some value has been set on that. Now, if you know there's nothing on the ID that you care about as far as properties that have been set, you can use this little eraser icon in the selector dropdown to delete all the styles from the ID. And then your class styles will start working. But this is definitely something to watch out for that new users to Oxygen do run into occasionally just because Oxygen generally just respects the way CSS works. And in CSS, IDs are more specific than classes. So that's a basic overview of CSS classes and how to work with them in Oxygen. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And thank you very much for watching.